Hi, I'm Chris Labby from HRP Associates, and we're here today to show you how to calibrate the Mini Ray Q Ray 2. It's a multi gas, four gas meter. First, we're going to start by turning it on using the left button. Hold it down, and you'll hear it turn on. Now you're going to see that all four sensors are saying installed on it. Okay, when the screen shows you all your sensors, you're going to start the calibration by holding both buttons down. This enters the password mode. If you don't have a password, all you have to do is use the left button and then toggle over to OK. Once you get on OK, you turn the right button, you press Yes. That brings you into the calibration mode where it says zero calibration, you hit Yes. And that's going to do a 30 second countdown to zero error. While that's going on, you can put that down and you can take your regulator, attach it to your gas canister, Now it's important to check your gas canister for expiration date or use by date, 10 15 2023. It's also going to have to have the mixture of CO 50 ppm, hydrogen sulfide, it's going to be 10 ppm. Your LEL measured it with methane is 50% LEL, oxygen level 18% by volume, it's going to be a nitrogen balance. Back to our meter now, after you've gone through the zero calibration, it says calibrate meter, you're going to want to hit yes. That's going to show you your four sensors to calibrate and you can see you can toggle over to each one of them and put an asterisk on it as which ones you want to calibrate. We want to calibrate all four, that's why they're all highlighted. So we're back to OK, you hit OK. Now you want to attach your gas canister to the intake on the front. Make sure that's attached to the top and this is fully open. That's going to be a 60 second countdown now. Alright, so we're getting to the end of our 60 second calibration. It says multiple sensors are calibrated. That way you disconnect your gas canister, make sure you turn it off. Now your meter says you have an option to do a single sensor. We already did the multi-sensor, so you're going to toggle down, hit back, toggle down again, back and you'll get to your main screen showing the four sensors. Now once all the individual sensors level out to zero again, what we like to do is a bump test. Basically all you're doing is hooking the gas canister back up to the meter and making sure it's reading to the percentages correctly that you calibrated it to. So now you see the meter's all zeroed out on its own. From here you just basically reattach your gas cylinder. This is called the bump test. Connect to the pump. The alarms will go off, obviously, because it's reading these values that are on the canister. And basically, just leave it on there and making sure that you're getting right up within or close to the percentages or PPM. So you'll see the CO is climbing up to the 50 PPM. The hydrogen sulfide is climbing up. It's at 9.8. It's supposed to be 10 PPM. Your LEL is going to be 50%. We're at 49 now. And your oxygen is going to be at 18%. It's reading 18.3. So that tells you basically your meter is calibrated, it's reading right within a certain close percentage of each value. So you're good to go, you know your meter's reading correctly. Close this off, the meter will eventually zero itself back out. And to simply turn off the meter, all you have to do is hold the left button, continually hold it down, and it'll be a five second countdown, but you gotta hold the button down the whole time. Your meter's calibrated. We use the Midi Ray Q Ray 2 for uh, confined space entry. We'll put some tubing on the uh, inlet pump. We'll lower it down into the confined space, put it into the breathing zone, and we'll start taking some readings, making sure that their oxygen levels are correct, CO levels aren't there, LEL, no problem with LELs. Um, we also use it for discharge on uh, system work. Uh, we check our CO levels on that, uh, any kind of gas discharges on that. So there's multiple uses you could use this for. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.